Hey my lovelies, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Leilani. So in today's video, we're gonna be doing a comparison of two fragrances, original Mon Guerlain, and then we have the Mon Guerlain Intense. So let's get into it, you guys. So let's get into the original first. I'm gonna bring up the notes. In the original, we have lavender, bergamot as the top note. We have iris, jasmine, and sandback and rose in the middle. In the base, and the base notes is Tahitian vanilla, coumarin, Australian sandalwood, licorice, benzoin, and patchouli. Okay, so this is a very warm. Uh, let me get my tester strip for you guys. This is a very warm vanilla type of fragrance okay so this is the original hmm it smells so good this is one of those really really good lavender scents I know lavender is lavender is a note used more in um, colognes or men perfume but this is done really really beautifully it almost it doesn't remind me of um Libre, it's just like Libre has van um, lavender in it as well, and it's done super beautifully. It has more fizzy vanilla type of um, type of smell to it, whereas this one is a lot more warm. It's a lot more vanilla, heavy dose of vanilla, that lavender in the top. You do get a little bit of that uh, jasmine and iris in there. The iris is not prominent. This is not a, a more iris driven fragrance, even though I know it's listed in the notes. I wouldn't even say this is a really big, uh, huge on the rose. I do get a lot of the jasmine and the vanilla. And then the patchouli and the licorice and benzoin and the sandalwood makes it very uh, slightly, slightly creamy. But it does dry down to a very gourmand based. So it's really warm. It's good for the winter time. And yeah, I, I kind of get Spiritus Double Vanille. I get, I get a little bit of that peeking in there like that vanilla is like in the background just whispering to you but nonetheless this is a very uh lavender vanilla uh driven type of fragrance so then on the other side we have uh mon Guerlain intense and you can see the juice is just a little darker this kind of gives off a more purplish type of vibe whereas um the original is a lot more brown the juice is a, is a lot more brown golden and then you have the purple juice in here so and by the way these are both 3.4 ounces well 3.3 .3 ounces so let's spray this one this one that's a good sprayer too they both do but this one came out like Hmm, right off the bat, okay, so this has lavender, mandarin, mandarin orange, and bergamot in the top notes, and then in the middle notes it has uh, Tahitian vanilla and Madagascar vanilla, iris, jasmine, sandback, and rose, and in the base you have the coumarin, patchouli, licorice, benzoin, Australian sandalwood, and white musk. So the only thing that changed is the opening, they added the mandarin orange and the bergamot, and the middle notes is a lot different too because there is whereas in the first one the vanilla is in the base the vanilla is in the middle of this one and you also have um uh two vanillas so it's more so they to me they added they definitely added the citrus in the beginning to give it a more fresh boost but then they added a lot more vanilla into the in the middle notes to give it more of a depth so while you're drying down in the original to get to the vanilla in the intense version the vanilla already hits you as it starts to dry down and it's backed up by the same base so the bases are the same pretty much except for the original has vanilla in the base I'd say this intense version is exactly what it's intended to be for the purpose of making an intense version. They didn't go and change it up or kind of sw uh, sway you in another way. I feel like if you love the vanilla and the lavender in the original with that vanilla kind of dancing around, cause as it dries, as it dries down, 
then you get a hint of lavender and then you get a just gourmand grounded base which is the vanilla in the woods and things like that now with the intense it's a it's more fresher but it's a little bit more deeper so i think the vanilla in the base makes it in the middle note sorry makes it very deep and it, it, it grounds it right away it's like it hits you in the face with this burst of freshness so you still have the lavender in there but then you have some citrus to back it up too so it comes off a little louder but then when it starts to dry you still get that citrus lingering and then it goes into this real gourmand vanilla and then the base is like i said still there as far as the original so the licorice in this one in the intense version as well is also more amped up it's a little bit more out there in your face it's not as hiding in the background as the original um it's a lot more trying to be the star of the show without being the star of the show like it's it wish it had a, a major role but it's it did it didn't it got a few scripts but nonetheless i feel like if you don't like licorice you can tolerate it in the original but in the intense stay away because it is going to be a lot more amped up that vanilla helps to lift it and those citruses also drag it so which one should you choose you know um let's talk in the scenario of having the original if you have the original and you are pleased with it um i would say stick with it if you feel like it's missing something it depends on what you feel that it's missing if you feel it's missing some more vanilla some more depth and you don't mind the licorice note then you have the intense the intense is going to be your friend okay um if you feel like it's missing a little bit more freshness in the opening or some citrus mongerlan intense will be your friend now if you feel that it's missing anything else other than what i mentioned stick with it because that's all you're going to get just spray a little bit more um maybe layer it with something that you have that's like a vanilla fragrance if you need some more depth to it other than that stick with it because one thing i can note is it does start off a lot fresh in that beginning for like the first hour or so you're going to get that lavender you're going to get that that lavender helps boost it up because that's the only thing in the top notes that's going to give you that freshness but then it starts to just wrap around you and become a very warm all-around fragrance very suitable for winter date nights cuddling that's what i get from the original now let's say you have the intense version and you don't have the original if you have the intense version and you really love the licorice you love that fresh citrus burst and you love its all around warmness it does give you that same warmness as the original but it has that those added additives and if you do love that stick with it now if you do own the intense version and you feel that it's good but you just feel it has too much licorice or it's too fresh in the opening for you and you just want to enjoy that vanilla that grounded smell that very warm smell go ahead and try the original because the original may minus some notes pull back on some of those things that are a little too intense for you um and then it'll leave you with more of a nice vanilla a nice slight you know that burst of lavender but not too citrusy and not so much licorice you know you're still going to pick it up slightly but it really had a small role in the original it probably had a two-line script and it was out for the movie um whereas in the intense version it's it's strong okay so i do feel that it is a this this intense this flanker, I do feel they did a really good job for those of you guys who felt like the original was, was lacking some freshness in the opening and you wanted the freshness to linger around a little bit more and you don't mind the licorice note. I do feel like they did a, an excellent job with the intense version because it does, they do smell similar. It's just certain notes in the intense stick out more than the original. It doesn't smell like a whole new fragrance. It just smells like they amplify, amplify some of the notes um, from the original and it gives you a more fresher boost in the beginning a, a more stronger dense smell and definitely bumped up licorice so those are my opinions on if you own either of the two um 
which one you should go with. I do feel that if you like them both, they're both necessary because you can always wear the original during the daytime and then you can trans position to the intense at night that's how i see it um, because it is a lot more heavier and more grounded and i feel like it's definitely more suitable for night uh, whereas this one is also suitable for nighttime as well because to some it might be strong uh, but if you have a, a very strong sense of smell and you to the like you've been wearing this and this has just started to get too light for you or too airy and you started just finding yourself spraying this during during the day or just throwing it on then this will definitely be a step up for you to kind of get that feeling back where you get that denseness dense that more dense more vanilla more amped up uh fragrance that you're looking for if you if it lingered away and it's lost in here so and vice versa if you do feel that um, this has, if the intense has become a daytime fragrance for you, then there's no, there's really no use in getting, uh, the original, unless you just want to pull back on some of those notes, like some of that freshness and some of that, uh, licorice in there. But all in all, I do think they're both very beautiful fragrances. It just depends on what notes appeal to you. If you can tolerate licorice and a little bit more freshness in the beginning with a with slightly more dense density, I would go with this. Um, but if you don't want to have to see past all that, um, stick with the original. You can't go wrong with either or. They're both gonna smell good. They're both gonna project. You're gonna have a lovely sillage and you're definitely gonna get a few compliments on these because they are beautiful, beautiful fragrances and they could be worn versatile summer winter I prefer them in more cooler weather because they just have a better projection they just have a better projection they just kind of like uh, they the sea agent projection is just a little bit better for me it kind of shines more in the winter time so yes that's my thoughts on Mongerlan versus Mongerlan Intense if you do own any of these I would love to hear your opinion about them if you guys are going to purchase them you guys know I will leave the links below in the description box they are affiliate links so it's up to you guys to click on them I do get a small commission but it just helps me out so if you don't like if you don't want to, then just search them up on Google or, or whatever. Don't forget to like this video if you did enjoy this video. And until next time, you guys.